from the heart of the French Quarter in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm a murder mystery writer, Xavier DeSoto. I'm standing next to Jackson Square, and I'm gonna tell you all about that apartment building over there, which was built by a lady who was shot four times by her father-in-law. She managed to survive, and if you stick with me a few minutes, I'll tell you how she got the title of The Bulletproof Baroness. One of New Orleans' most famous characters was Michaela Almanaster. She was later known as the Baroness de Pantalba. She was born on November 6, 1795, to wealthy parents in New Orleans. Her father died when she was two years old, leaving her the sole heir to her estate. At the age of 15, in 1811, she was married off to a French cousin, the son of a baron. His family saw the opportunity to gain wealth since they were destitute. They moved to France and tried to make the marriage work. But eventually their relationship fell apart and she became a virtual prisoner. They tried many times to get Michaela to sign over her inheritance. They were largely unsuccessful. One night, the Baron, in frustration, took matters into his own hand. He grabbed two dueling pistols and shot Michaela four times. Two balls shattered her breast bone, severing an artery and mutilating two of her fingers. Fortunately, Michaela survived, and the Baron de Bantalba turned the pistols himself in frustration. That meant that the son became the Baron, and Michaela became the Baroness Pentalba. Years later, she moved back to New Orleans and became a shrewd businesswoman. One of the notable things she did in her life was designing and funding the construction of the Pentalba buildings on Jackson Square in 1815. The matching red brick one block long, four story building has ground floors that house shops and restaurants and apartments. They are considered the oldest continuously rented apartments in the United States. Eventually, the Baron de Pantalba went back to France and died there in 1874. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of uh, Madame Pantalvo's uh, apartments. They're the oldest in the United States, as I said before. If you will subscribe, I'll give you more tours of different locations here in the city, uh, including the William Faulkner uh, apartment right close to here. That's where he wrote his first novel and threw chicken bones at tourists below. Also, I'll take you to the place where Tennessee Williams lived and wrote as well as the mansion of vampire novelist Anne Rice in the Garden District. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below. But don't go away. I think you might enjoy these outtakes. Uh, other artists, other writers. Um, um, hold on a second. Well, I hope you <laughs> I hope you enjoy <laughs> I'm not hearing a click. Hold on a second. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. Lastly, if you want to see other topics in the future about New Orleans, feel free to leave a comment below to help me build my list of videos. All right, that's all I have for you today. Hope to see you next time. Bye.